Computer science videos here today to show you guys in the tutorial how to use Google Docs on a Mac computer. Without further ado, let us start the video. So in this tutorial, you need to have access to a Mac computer and account for Google. So we can now go all the way down to the docs, go to Launchpad, go to the web browser, which is Google Chrome in this case. Make sure you are signed into your Google account. Now let's click on Google Applications, scroll all the way to the bottom, click on Docs. This should now take us to Google Docs. Let's now click on blank. Now we are ready to start word processing online. So citations, use the new citations tool to add in-text citations and the bibliography. Got it. So now how do we add text? Well, as we can see on screen, the page is ready to have text inserted there. Let's just type in computer science videos. Go to a new line, go to the previous line, increase the font size by clicking on plus or decrease the font size by the minus. We can change the font size to another font type. Let's click on impact or choose another. Or we can revert back to Arial, normal text, title, center of the page in bold underline go to a new line let's now insert a photo insert image upload from computer let's go to the desktop Insert the screenshot that we already had there. We can decrease the size of the image itself. Right click. Let's just add a space between the title and the photo itself. We can also insert a new photo if we want to from Google Drive. Click on the image. Decrease the size of the image itself. Also that should now be underneath the previous added image. And so that's done. Let's right click. Crop the image if we want to. So the image now has been cropped. Right click, image options, text wrap. wrap text in front of text and so now we can move the image around if we wish to and so let's now try format the page if we want to let's now type something else other than the title so computer science videos here today to show you guys Highlight what we have added. Format text. We can have the text bold, italic, underline, or we can have paragraph styles, heading one, normal text, heading, but this is not really a heading, so we just align to the right if we want to format 
back into the center or left. We can now also insert a table if we wish to. Insert table two by two and there is a table. So that's done, go to a new line, insert a chart, bar chart. That's another bar chart. Right click, image options in front of text. And so that's done. We can also move this around. Let's just have this aligned to the right of the images. We can also paste a link if we wish to. We can also acquire help if we need it. Add-ons, we can also do more with Google Docs. Other tools such as spelling, grammar, word count, let's just click on this. And it gives us the amount of pages we have. So we just have one page, words, 12, characters, 77. Characters excluding spaces, 67, brilliant. Let's add some page numbers. Footer, show on the first page, start at one. Excellent. So that is the page number added. We can share this if we wish to. We can click on File, Download as a docx file. And this should now have saved to Finder within Downloads. And there we have it, Untitled Document. That's OK. File. We can make a copy. We can also move this to another folder. Let's just move this to Work. Move. That's done. Open a new tab. Go to Google Applications. Go to Drive. Let's go within work and there we have the untitled document. Now, if we wish to rename the document, let's just click on untitled document and now save it as work. So that's done. Command shift T to open up the previous tab that we were in. And there we have work saved within the work folder within Google Drive in our account and so is there anything else that we require to cover I don't think so everything is done if we wish to copy right click copy or we can use command C command V to paste or command X to cut command V to repaste Select all, everything is selected with Command A, View, Mode, Editing, View, Mode, Suggesting, you're suggesting, yes, Insert, let's insert a new page. And there we go, a new page has been inserted. Only editing. What we could then do is click on print and this would take us to a printer that we have. Click on print and then everything on screen would be printed in either color or depending on what your printer can print. So let's just click on cancel. And so if I were to quit Google Chrome, you may be wondering, have I lost all my work? Well, the answer is absolutely not because we were saving in real time. Let's go all the way down to the dock again, go back to Launchpad, Google Chrome, 
make sure you are signed into the account go to your drive go within work and there is the file itself go to a new tab go back to Google applications click on Docs and there we have work we can resume the work that we were working on and so currently we are editing we can also only view go back to editing and so we can now quit Google Chrome and so that's it for this video I'll see you guys in my next tutorial thanks for now